Right, so we're going to go to interfaces and I'm using a applight uh, router so this router only has four interfaces so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create uh, a bonding between Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 so these will be my two one interfaces so ensure that you're not connected to Ethernet 2 so you can connect to 3, 4 or whatever port other than these two so in the ports that you're going to bond please remember do not connect to those because after making this change you won't be able to connect to them to configure the router alright so we're going to go to Ethernet 3 and uh, Ethernet 3 set to port 2 as being a master port we're going to remove that and put none ok then we are going to go to Ethernet 3 in the bridge we're going to go to the bridge and what happened now is that Ethernet 3 is not in the bridge so we're going to add Ethernet 3 to the bridge so this is the default bridge ok then we are going to put Ethernet 4 also in that bridge so what I'm going to do is first we're going to edit, edit this and we're going to change the master port for Ethernet 4 to be Ethernet 3 click apply at this time you might get disconnected alright so I was disconnected so I'm going to reconnect so I've reconnected ok alright next step is Ethernet 2 we're going to remove that from the bridge so go to bridge and remove Ethernet 2 from the bridge next we're going to rename both interfaces so Ethernet 1 we're going to rename this as 1 1 and Ethernet 2 we're going to rename this as 1 2 then we're going to go to bonding we're going to create a new bonding we're going to select Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2 and the mode is balance RR so what this does is that it ensures that the traffic is shared equally over both uh, both connections click apply click OK alright the next step is is that we're going to go to IP and then we're going to go to addresses so right now Ethernet 1 is getting an IP address from the modem so what we're going to do next is that we're going to change the DHCP client and we're going to change the interface that it is using so we're going to go to the interface and we're going to change this to bonding 1 that is our new interface click apply click OK so bonding 1 has, has the same IP as, as the original connection so what we're going to do we're going to just remove this interface or what you could do you could even reboot your router uh, and then it will automatically uh, establish a new connection we're going to just release and renew and now the connection it, the connection is now occurring over the bonded interface so we're going to just close this go back to interfaces and we're seeing where so the bonding interface is now working so I'm going to do a test I'm going to do a speed test 
or a bandwidth test and show you that how, how the traffic really flows over these two connections. So let me just, so the IP address for the router is 192.168.100.1. So that's the other device that I'm speed testing. So I'm using two MicroTik devices and each port is a hundred megabits so I'm supposed to be getting a more than a hundred megabits uh, in total so you realize that the bonding port is an aggregate of both of both one both interfaces so we're seeing that the bond is working so that is how you go about setting up bonding in terms of using multiple one connections that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and if you have a comment please leave it so thanks for watching